like a scene from a movie, vehicles submerged in floodwaters, heavy rain inundating subways, leaving strap hangers stranded and the region paralyzed. Flooding. Vehicles are trapped. The National Weather Service reported a staggering rainfall rate of 3.15 inches in just one hour at Central Park, breaking the record of 1.94 inches set by Tropical Storm Henri in August. A total of almost nine inches fell over a short period of time. The agency issued its first ever flash flood emergency in New York City and New Jersey due to life-threatening circumstances. Rivers overflowed their banks and powerful winds produced tornadoes, all adding to the destruction. Look at that tornado! So, how did this all happen? Well, in order to understand, let's take a look at Ida's path. After making two landfalls as a Category 4 hurricane in Louisiana, the powerful storm did weaken, but there was no relief as Ida made its way from the lower Mississippi and Tennessee Valley valleys to the Ohio Valley and Central Appalachians before delivering a hefty blow to the Northeast. There were multiple factors at play. A frontal boundary provided enhanced lift combined with deep tropical moisture. It was a perfect recipe for severe conditions. Even though the damage was widespread, locations along the front, including the five boroughs and places north and west of the city, received more of a devastating blow than points further east. Climatologists say it's something we're seeing more often due to climate change. We know that in a warming world, that showers and thunderstorms have the capacity to hold more water or, or water vapor. And when that condenses, it means basically that a shower or thunderstorm can actually wring out more moisture than what it would have done um, when the climate was cooler. We're seeing that these storms are intensifying a lot faster. They are uh, getting stronger. They're moving slower and the rainfall amounts with these uh, hurricanes are increasing as well. And with the peak hurricane season underway, the Atlantic Basin shows no signs of slowing down.